what an absolutely amazing thing that today anyone with consumer cameras can shoot underwater videos like these. I mean, imagine 15 years ago, you needed professional equipment, housing, cameras, all these different things. It would cost you a fortune today. Cindy and I use two Sony consumer handycams, the Handycam HDR XR550, which is our standby we've had for a couple of years, and the new Sony HDR PJ710 with a 52 millimeter lens, and they both work amazing. As a matter of fact, it's hard to like you can't really even tell the difference between the pictures this was filmed with so, with the 550 Cindy was filming this she used the 550 and I have to admit that I used the 710 but uh, we were out snorkeling every day at the Grand Bahia Principe Oak Mall and what we do is that we go out for oh around an hour to an hour and a half on each snorkel and we each have cameras so Cindy is capturing her images I'm capturing mine and imagine that this is like a big aquarium the water is phenomenally warm crystal clear and there's a variety of fish around but unlike in an aquarium like even if you go to like the Vancouver Aquarium or the Atlanta Aquarium wherever the fish are categorized you have these fish in this tank these fish in this tank here they all live together and you can encounter anything at any time and it's not hard I mean you see this fish isn't even trying to get away if anything he's coming back and he opens his mouth like he's trying to talk with us um, it's just an absolutely amazing experience and this is something that anyone coming to the Grand Bahia Principe Okumal, Koba, Tulum resorts can experience because they're, all these resorts are together. As a matter of fact, they even have a new section now called Xiankan across the highway. More about that later because it's an amazing uh, section of the resort with golf course and all. But anyway, if you're coming here, and we encountered people from Italy, Spain, United Kingdom, USA, Canada, South America, all over. Anyone coming with a consumer camera can make videos and take them home. And it is a lot better way, in my opinion, to share your memories than just with a few photographs. Because photographs are beautiful. But this is alive, man. I mean, I get so excited about that. It's alive. You see the fish swimming. You see their actions, their, what they're doing. And so often, if you don't chase them and you just like to drift along, float along, the fish will go about their business, whether they're feeding or doing whatever they do right in front of you. And it's like a uh, National Geographic, a nature show taking right taking place right in front of your mask. It's, an, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I love it. But I know that everyone out there who travels and wants to go to the resorts also loves it because we get so many questions about it. What is the snorkeling like? Is it good for my kids? Can I take my kids snorkeling? And for the most part, absolutely amazing. And do it. Do it. There's very little to fear in the oceans. That's not to say there isn't, uh, but it's just the same as on land. On this trip, when we're taking the bus from the airport to the Bahia Principe Okumal Resort, the tour operators were saying that there's like no jellyfish and stuff, and I corrected him because last year when we were down in the Riviera Maya, we encountered jellyfish and we encountered them again. But these were different than the ones last year because these didn't leave any welts. But even the ones that leave the welts, if you get some uh, vinegar and wash the spot, instantly, it, amazingly, it just clears right up. So like I said, for the most part, there's nothing to worry about. Don't touch things that you don't know what they are because there are rockfish, there's lionfish we've seen. But if you avoid touching things and you're just an absorber, because remember, this is their world. We are just in there for a short while. We can't live in it. Sadly to say, the only thing that we can do to their world is destroy it, because that's another thing that's happening with global warming, uh, climate change, and the fact that so many countries cities, municipalities use the oceans as a dumping ground for all their affluence. We are killing the oceans. We're killing the home of all these amazing creatures. And it doesn't matter if it's mighty rivers running into the ocean with their uh, phosphates from farming and 
farm affluent or the floating garbage patches uh, in the Pacific Ocean, uh, the dead zones around the world now. We are destroying the oceans. And if you have the ability to travel with your kids, especially with your kids, bring them down. And if you don't have snorkeling equi equipment, it doesn't matter because resorts offer them. You can get the snorkeling equi equipment, go out for an hour, take your kids and teach them. Because, like, look, you never know what you're going to see. This is the ultimate chameleon. Cloaking device, man. Cloaking device. It can literally disappear on the background. It changes its colors, its pigments. We watched this thing swim around for so long. It was an absolutely, again, a, a, a amazing experience right around the rocks. And when it would settle down on the rocks, it would just literally disappear. If you weren't watching for it, you wouldn't see it. And the same thing when I went down to the sand. Its colors changed. Or you go out a little bit further and there's rock formations, coral formations, and then there's a little piece of seaweed floating and you see how fish feed off it. it, it the world is so amazing and it is so easily approachable, doable, experience it. I just got to keep saying, if you can, get out. It doesn't matter if it's in Florida, in Bahamas, Riviera Maya, wherever. Get out and experience our world. And take notice of the wonders of nature. We've got to save this planet, man. Thank you.